I'm sorry. I shouldn't have that much fun with this stuff. <sighs> Dano, get me more whores. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's Dano's main job, actually. You just look at McGarrett and tell what a snake he is, what a wolf he is, what a, what a, what a dog he is with the vixens. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's just stop that joke right there. I got serious news to get to in your phone calls. But first off, I want to get into this. And I'm going to have the Nightly News do a piece on this because it is interesting. And then, and then they can get where Buzz Bissinger on the show said he wanted to kill me and that Piers Morgan should kill me. And Piers Morgan said, yes, I want to kill him. So at that point, just like I challenged him to a boxing match on the show before, I said, I challenge you and Buzz Bissinger, who likes to wear females' clothes, that's fine. He can dress as a woman. And we, both of them can, actually, because that's about what they are. I'm not, not knocking women, but as men, they're not very manly. And they can both get in the ring against me, either bare knuckle or with gloves. We can do it in Vegas. I guarantee you pay-per-view, as big as that story was, it would get picked up. It would have millions that would pay on pay-per-view, and we could give the proceeds to charity. You notice they never took the challenge up. And I know he tweeted back at me and stuff about it, uh, you know, basically saying no thanks. You need to accept the challenge, coward. You're washed up. You're out of the United States. Everybody hates you. You're going to do a once-a-month magazine show for CNN, as I predicted they would give you. Hiding their mistakes, you know, acting like you're not a total failure. Taking a show from 2 million viewers to 300-and-something thousand. You know, Morgan, I will literally beat the hell out of you and Buzz Bissinger. I tell you what, let's go further. Uh, Andy Kaufman would do this. I'll fight the, the ambassador's daughter who said she wants to kill me too on the show. Buzz Bissinger, so two women. I'll fight her, Buzz Bissinger, and you, Morgan. I'm serious. I will go in that ring, and I will demolish all three of you within three rounds. I guarantee you. I will annihilate you within three rounds. Guaranteed, cowards. All three of you. I'm serious. In the ring, I will come in there and stomp the hell out of all of you, including your tart. Because she wants to talk about how she wants me dead and everything. Well, get in the ring with me, you wench. I will take all three of you on. First thing I'll do is punch her in the solar plexus, taking her out. Then I'll go over to Morgan, and I will absolutely start just battering his head with both gloves. And then I'm going to turn on Bissinger. All three of you. All three of you. Come on. Quite a man being able to take on that little brunette. They don't call me McGarrett for nothing, folks. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, is that this guy's a coward. So everybody knows I challenged him to that. Well, now the host of Top Gear that looks just like him in the UK, this is probably a stage publicity stunt. He said, if he dies, he dies. Piers Drago Morgan challenges Jeremy Clarkson after he challenged him to a fight for charity in the ring. And so that's now in the news. It's a 50,000 pound to charity for Piers Morgan and Jeremy Clarkson boxing fight. You know, I think Clarkson will win. You can just look at the look in that guy's eyes and the size of his neck compared to Piers Morgan. Piers Morgan is a complete ninny. And unless the thing's staged, I think Morgan's going to get his head butt handed to him. So V12... Shots LTD, a company that recently launched a protein drink, the V12 Protein Shot, has offered to donate 50,000 pounds or about $80,000 to help for Heroes Charity in Piers Morgan and Jeremy Clarkson's agree to fight. They've now agreed to fight. Listen, $50 million is what a Piers Morgan Alex Jones fight would raise. Seriously, that, that, that was voted. In, in, in L.A. Times, Time Magazine, you name it by voters, multiple times, the number one political story of 2013. Can you believe that? The number one viral media event, multiple places, thousands of newspapers, every show out there, Piers Morgan versus Alex Jones. I challenged him to a boxing match right then. Uh, $80,000, really? I guarantee you, I've got the connections. I know Dana White. I know Joe Rogan. I've hung out with Dana White repeatedly. I'll guarantee you I can make phone calls, and I guarantee you they, they're businessmen. I guarantee you they could get the Vegas match on, and it would be on television and pay-per-view and dominate.
it would air on television the next day and be on channels all over the country. But, but no, Pierce Morgan will not allow his career to be destroyed because he knows I will go in that ring and I will beat the living hell out of him. Oh, man, I would love to get in there with him. Just, oh, 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 man, I would love it. So I know you're a coward, Morgan. You, the woman, and the other woman. I'll take on you and the two women. You and Buzz Bissinger and the other woman. That would add to it. Maybe we'd make 100 mil. Give it to charity. We could give it to Salvation Army. How's that sound? You probably don't like that. That's a Christian group. In fact, you, you know what? You're, you're a coward, but let me say this. They'll want to pay for it in Vegas. Let's say a third of it goes to the promoters, everybody, and then, and then what's, what's left, 90% goes to charity. You can have the money. You and the cowards that get in the ring, you can have... You can have six, seven, eight percent, whatever it comes out to, to have, because you're not going to have a career anyways. You've already failed. So what? I'm going to beat you to, to pieces in the ring. So what? I'm going to totally dominate you. You're already washed up. Get in, I'm, folks. This is real. I'm serious. This is your last hurrah, Morgan. Don't be scared. Get in the ring with me. If you know it's all talk, some redneck Texan. I mean, you're going to punch me one time. I'm going to fall over in a fetal position, bud. You know that. You know this is all talk. You know I'm actually deep down scared of getting in the ring with you. So I think the answer is, Morgan, you need to get in the ring with me. Oh, man, I wish you'd get in the ring with me. Oh, man, I would just, I guarantee you. <laughs> First shot, man, I'd have him half knocked out. I'd get him up against the ropes and just undercut full power, breaking that jaw. Just full hate power. Just full hate. Blah. Excuse me. Anyways. All right, now I'm now I'm I, I'm now kind of engaged in mental, you know what, on the air. And it is kind of like hatred porn, and I apologize, God, that I'm being like that. I shouldn't have moments of exquisite hatred for the coward, the filth, the enemy redcoat who we've defeated. I just have such a, just a, quite frankly, an unholy lust to defeat the enemy that I shouldn't be like that, and I apologize and repent. But I still will get in the ring with him. We're going to send this video to Piers Morgan. We're going to do a special report tonight on this, showing him saying he wants to kill me. Look, you want to kill me? There's your chance, buddy. Get in the ring with me. Get in the ring. Get in the ring. Get in the ring, coward. You and Buzz Bissinger. I was joking about the woman. Fighting one man and one woman's enough. Oh, yeah, I said I'd go to your phone calls. Uh, <coughs> We'll do that, and then I'll get into uh, the fact that your connect box is watching everything you do and looking through your walls. I told you that three years ago when they first started coming out with it. Uh, now it's mainstream news. And here's another one. Facebook facial recognition software is now as accurate as the human brain, but what now? And it's face scanning people on the streets all over the world and putting it into integrated NSA databases. That's why it's a joke to have Zuckerberg, total Bilderberg group member, saying to Obama, please stop spying on us. I mean, that is literally like Satan's left hand telling Satan's right hand to stop scratching its rear end. Uh, I mean, this is, this is just absolutely incredible. All over the country, face scanning cameras going in the buses, on the roads, in the trains, in the taxi cabs. Mikhail Thalen article that went on DrudgeReport.com. New York trains to install audio video recorders. Very important article. You can go watch the local newscast. Uh, about that. Of course, how do people respond to us reporting this? They just say it's not true. They just say that it none of it is true and everything is wonderful, uh, even though public schools are watching kids nationwide over the, quote, free laptops uh, they give the people. Uh, here's some of the other news, and we're going to go to your calls and get to that clip of uh, the demonization of Rand Paul for calling for unity by uh, Al, I want to create balkanization and division because I work for a globalist-run news outfit, Sharpton. Pelosi, we couldn't be prouder of O'Care. And uh, there's video of this. Uh, House Democratic leader Nancy Pelosi defended the president's health care law as a winner. That's a new thing. Everybody loves it. We should be thankful to Kim Jong-il, I mean Obama, for it. No one ever got denied. It's been a total success. Pigs can fly. Moon's made of cheese. There's no tyranny. 
despite worries of increasing premiums and the drag it could have on Democrats this fall. The worries of increasing premiums?